to my home garden well let me tell you i have struggled quite long months to get these results of these flowers and the fruits here and i think all of us can associate with the problems and the struggles that we face while growing the plants at home and even when the plants are grown in the crop fields there are n number of struggles associated while growing plants in the soil for instance if i want to move this particular plant from this position to other position for better availability of sunlight then of course it will be a very long struggle for me and for everybody else as well but let me tell you there exists a method which can actually overcome struggle like this and n number of other problems associated while growing plants in the soil I'm talking about growing the plants to maturity in a nutrient solution. Yes, the soilless production of the mature plants. And let me tell you, this is known as hydroponics. Sounds interesting, isn't it? Well, friends, today we are going to discuss hydroponics in detail in this session. Let us move forward and discuss what actually hydroponics is and how is it practiced. Well friends, as I said earlier, in hydroponics we grow the plants in the nutrient solution. So we can say that hydroponics is basically soilless production of the plants. Now this term hydroponics consists of the two terms. which are hydro and ponus hydro basically means water and ponus basically means excretion now friends let me tell you while we grow plants using hydroponics there is a particular system in which we need to grow the plants and yes in these systems the plants actually grow to maturity and are able to produce n number of fruits vegetables and flowers as well friends while practicing hydroponics we need a tank made up of either concrete or metal which is covered by another metal covering now this covering is made in such a manner that it supports the stem of the plant yes the support which is basically provided by the soil while growing plants in the soil in case of hydroponics is provided by the upper covering of the tank in which we are going to grow the plants now friends this tank is filled with nutrient solution which will have all the essential mineral requirements fulfilled of the plant and friends this nutrient solution is continuously circulated using a pump at the bottom so the roots of the plant growing in a hydroponic system basically receive aerated nutrients all the time and that is the reason the plants can actually grow to maturity even in the absence of soil friends you must be thinking why to switch to the system of hydroponics when the plants can easily grow in the soil as well well friends let me tell you that there are certain advantages of hydroponics which actually are not there while growing the plants in the soil for instance some areas have very thin infertile and dry soils and in such areas hydroponics is actually the best solution for growing the plants to obtain beautiful flowers and vegetables as well friends other than this the problems like ph which is actually not controllable in case of soil can be controlled while growing the plants in a nutrient solution as we can regulate the ph of the solution as per the requirement of the plant friends other than this if you look at the system carefully then the nutrient solution is being continuously circulated and hence the roots of the plants are continuously irrigated as well and there is a fixed amount of water required for it that means we do not need to irrigate it again and again 
that leads to another advantage of hydroponics which is water conservation friends other than this the problems associated with growing plants in the soil like weeding and other problems can actually be eliminated while we grow plants using hydroponics now you must be thinking what kind of plants can be grown let me give you a few examples the plants the flowering plants basically can be grown using the method of hydroponics and the vegetables like lettuce seedless cucumber and tomatoes can also be grown using this system of hydroponics but after all these advantages there is one disadvantage of this system sometimes it is not cost effective but there is another solution to that There exist four different type of hydroponic systems which can be applied for growing various kinds of plants. So now let us move forward and talk about four different types of hydroponic system. Friends, as I said earlier there are four different types of hydroponic systems and these types are namely the tank water system or the water culture system a nutrient film solution ebb and flow method and last but not the least is aeroponics let us move forward and discuss these four systems in detail beginning with the water culture system first well friends in water culture system basically a container is filled with a nutrient solution in which the roots of the plant basically flows and the body of the plant is supported using the pieces of styrofoam and let me tell you this system is a non electrical system yes it does not require any electricity another cost cutting point of hydroponic system well friends moving forward this system is attached to an air pump which supplies the air to the nutrient solution through which the aerated nutrient solution reaches the roots of the plants and thus the roots receive nutrients required for the growth of the plant as well as fresh air or simply fresh oxygen friends in these kinds of systems the plants are actually found to be grown to their maturity and they produce flowers and vegetables as well now let us talk about the next system which is the nutrient film system friends in the nutrient film system of hydroponics the nutrient solution is continuously recirculated and the plants basically grow in a trough or a tube confused well the system looks something like this friends The first container is basically a trough or a tube that I mentioned in which the plants are kept and the second container contains the nutrient solution along with the nutrient pump and the air pump outside the air pump outside basically provides the oxygen and the nutrient pump present inside pumps the nutrient solution into the trough now the depth of the stream that flows in the trough or the tube in which the plants are growing is kept very shallow and hence this system gets its name nutrient film system so the depth of the stream is kept just like a thin film well friends let me tell you that when the plants are grown in a nutrient film system the upper part of their roots are properly moisturized and aerated as well they are moisturized because they are provided the nutrient solution periodically and they are aerated as there is ample of space for the air to get circulated and Once the plants have been provided with the nutrient solution it is drained after some time and recirculated again now these days there exist a modified form of this technique which is called nutrient film technique and it is commercially used to produce n number of plants which actually gives the agriculturist the flowers 
and the vegetable crops. Friends, the NFT or the nutrient film technique is a little varying as compared to that of nutrient film system. In nutrient film system, we periodically provide the plants with the nutrient solution. Whereas in the nutrient film technique, the plants are continuously bathed. The roots of the plants are continuously bathed in the nutrient solution. Now let us move forward and discuss the third system of hydroponics. Well friends, the next system on our list is the ebb and flow system. During this method, the plants are grown in the pots filled with some material medium. Now, this medium is nothing but rock wool or fiber, which has great capacity to absorb the nutrient solution. Friends, this medium material basically provides the anchor to the plant. So we can say that rock wool or fiber, whichever being used in this system, plays two important roles like the soil. The first role is retention of nutrients and water and the second role is that they provide anchor to the growing plants. Friends, while practicing ebb and flow method, the pots of the plants are filled with the nutrient medium. Now, the nutrient medium is provided by the container present below them and friends, once the pots have been provided with the nutrient solution, they are provided with it continuously for 5 to 10 minutes. Now, some of the nutrient solution is absorbed by the medium material, whereas the rest of it is drained away in the same nutrient solution container by gravity. Let us move forward and discuss the last system of hydroponics which is the aeroponics. Friends, in aeroponics, the plant roots are suspended over the nutrient solution which is used for the growth of the plant. Now, you must be thinking how this nutrient solution will be provided to the roots then. Well, it's quite simple. The nutrient solution is whipped into mist or fog, basically a cloud made up of the nutrient solution which rises up and reaches to the roots of the plant and it is quite an efficient method as it ensures both the availability of the nutrient and ample availability of the oxygen as well. Now you must be thinking that oxygen was provided in the previous systems as well but friends in the previous systems we used an air pump as standing water depletes in oxygen. Whereas in this system of aeroponics, we do not use any air pump because the plant's roots are continuously exposed to the air and the oxygen surrounding them. But why this oxygen quantity and oxygen availability is so important? Friends, let me tell you, the availability of the oxygen basically impacts the ability of these roots to absorb nutrients. In case of ample of supply of oxygen, the nutrient solution is basically absorbed more quickly. And hence, the aeroponic system is more advanced and efficient than the previous hydroponics system. Friends, with this, we have completed our study of hydroponics and four different systems of the hydroponics. Let us move forward and once enlist all the advantages which are provided by these systems. Friends, to begin with the advantages of hydroponics, the one that tops the list is the efficiency of the plant growth in this system. Well, let me tell you, the crop yield significantly increases when the plants are grown using hydroponics. Coming on to the next advantages, we can control the pH which is required for the growth of a particular plant and hence enabling the maximum efficiency once again. The problems like weeding, 
and the soil borne pathogens are also eliminated while growing the plants using the hydroponic system. And the systems like aeroponics again help in water conservation as the water is being used in the form of mist, fog or vapors basically. And Combinedly, all the systems which are entailed for hydroponics combinedly result into water conservation and increased crop yields of the plants. Friends, with this we have completed our study of hydroponics, different hydroponic systems and various advantages of the hydroponics. Let us quickly conclude this session with the summary of what did we learn today. The soil-less production of plants is called hydroponics. The plants are raised in small tanks of concrete or metal with the upper covering supporting the plants and the narrow tank providing the nutrient solution. A pump is regulated which circulates the air as well as nutrient solution. The hydroponic systems are of four types, namely tank system or water culture system, nutrient film system, ebb and flow hydroponics and aeroponics. In the water culture system, the roots of the plants are provided continuously with nutrient solution and the stem of the plant is supported using the styrofoam. In the nutrient film technique of hydroponics, the plants are grown in a trough or tube having a thin film of recirculated nutrient solution. In aeroponics, the roots are suspended in the air over the nutrient solution which is whipped into a nutrient mist by a motor driven rotor. 